The local average treatment effect is widely used in empirical work, and you will see it all the time. But there's actually a bit of controversy about it. One of the main points of contention is whether the local average treatment effect is actually an interesting number that we want to learn. So why would I care about the average unit level effect for the compliers? Shouldn't we also care about the always takers and the never takers? As usual, the answer is going to depend on the context and on the goal of our research. Critics claim that the local average treatment effect is just used because of its simplicity and its relative lack of assumptions, not because it's an inherently interesting number scientifically, just because you can get it without many assumptions, whereas if you wanted something like the average treatment effect, you might have to make a few more stronger assumptions. Whereas proponents will claim that these alternative approaches that get things like the average treatment effects either require strong assumptions, which we just don't believe, or they don't yield precise conclusions, like our bounds analysis that we've done before. Now, this debate is still ongoing, so just be aware that there's a lot of controversy and people come down on different sides of this issue.